Welcome back to another video. Today I just did this classic soft smoky eye using the Morphe palette. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Also welcome the newest member of our little family. It's just baby Kaya. She's going to be our little special guest in this video. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Kaya, can you say hi? Say hi guys, please subscribe. Please subscribe everyone. These are the best videos ever. Yeah. I'm kind of sleep with me tonight. I'm kind of sleep on a bed. So I know that this says it's going to be a get ready with me, but because of all the chaos that you'll see throughout this video, the noise was just a little too much for me to actually talk while I did it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a voiceover, but you'll definitely get to see a peek into my real life with this video. So I'm just priming my eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape as always and blending it in with my finger. And then I am using the Morphe 35K palette and I'm just using that white shade to set the crease to brow bone. I would have gone in with a more skin colored tone if I was to redo this look. So then I'm just going in with more of a peachy tone and I'm using that as a transition shade and to kind of bring down the really brightness from the white shade. Although this did work when I highlighted my brow bone later on that it already had the brightness from the white. Now I'm going in with a warm brown color and I'm using this to buff into the crease as another transition shade. So I'm just going right over where I had put the last shade and just buffing that in and blending it upwards. And then just going in with a darker but still warm brown shade and a little bit of a denser brush. And I am just sweeping this all over the crease as well. But then I'm also bringing this into the outer corner and kind of creating a little bit of a V or the shape that I want. This is the shape that I think works best for my eyes. So you can stick to whatever shape works best for you for this particular look. And then just making sure to blend it into the crease and out as well. And then I'm going in with this glimmering gold shade and packing that all over the lid. I did use some setting spray before using this and that just helped to make the color pop out just a little bit more. And then I just go back in with the previous brushes and blend it out. Now I'm using the Milani Brow Pomade and I'm using this just to quickly fill in my brows. I don't do anything too drastic with them, I just fill in their natural shape and just add a little bit more definition to the areas that are otherwise sparse. And then using the comb to brush it all in and blend it out to keep the look natural. And then I have this um, brow gel. I liked it but the color is too like reddish or something for my actual brows that I had to blend that back out as well just to kind of keep the shade more similar to my natural hair color. Then I'm going in with the NYX Hydrating Primer and I'm just putting this all over my face and blending it in because as you know I have very very dry skin and so this just helps to hydrate my face before I'm going to go ahead and put products onto it. And then I'm just going in with a little bit of the NYX Photo Finish Primer. And I'm just putting this right in my T-zone where my pores are a little bit more just to really help eliminate the pores in those areas and to make my foundation go on a little bit smoother there. Just that way it doesn't settle into my pores or enlarge them or exaggerate them once I put foundation and setting powder on. So for foundation, I'm going in with these two different colors of the Maybelline BB Cream Foundation. And so I'm just taking the whiter color or the lighter color and I'm just putting that kind of around the areas where I normally put the foundation um, or even kind of concealer. So I'm using this to kind of give myself a natural contour as I blend it in. So I'm putting this above my eyebrows, under my eyes, kind of down under where a contour line would be on my chin. And then I'm also using it just to carve out the tops of my brows a little bit. 
I'm also going to put it down my nose and on the sides of my nose and then on the cupid's bow I will blend that light color as well. And then I'm just going to take the darker shade and I'm going to put that in a line where I would normally contour. I'm also going to put it on the temples and on the sides of my nose just for a really slight nose contour. And then I'm also going to put it on a jaw on my jawline where I would also contour. And then I'm just using a damp beauty blender and I'm blending this all in. I do try to do the lighter shades first to blend those in because otherwise once I get the darker shade on the beauty blender I'm not going to be able to blend out the light shades without getting it all mixed together. So I do try to do the light shades just a little bit before I do the darker shades but then I do mix those together so this doesn't create too harsh of a contour and I'm definitely going to go back over it with powders but it does just create a really natural look. This is something I like to do in the summers when I'm not going to go over it with a lot of powders or I'm just kind of going out for the day but it's going to be really sweaty or things like that because it just gives a really nice shape to the face without having to put a lot of products on. And then I am just going to put some concealer right under my eyes just to cover some of the dark circles and things like that and again I am just using the Tarte Shape Tape once again. But then because I did that with the lighter foundations, I'm not going to use that to highlight down the bridge of my nose or anything like that because those areas are already slightly highlighted. If you do want more of a highlighted look, you could add this too because this is lighter than the color of foundation I used. And then I'm just setting the under eyes with my e.l.f. translucent powder and a stiff little brush. Then I will use a fluffier brush with the same e.l.f. translucent powder and just use that to set my entire face just to make sure that the foundation isn't tacky at all. So now I'm just going on to my under eyes and I'm just going to take the same shades that I had used before and put them on my lower waterline just to create the same effect on the lower line as I had on the top. So I'm just going to use the two shades that I had used in my crease and place those along my lower eye line. And then I'm also going to line my waterline with a white NYX eye pencil. And then I'm just going to do a straight line of eyeliner on my lids. I'm not going to do any wing or anything like that. I'm just going to line it just to give some definition right there at the base of the eyelashes. Then I'm contouring with the Pixie by Patra Natural Contour Powder as always and I'm just placing this over the same places that we had put the darker shades of foundation and this will kind of just set those darker shades and kind of increase the um, contour that we had already created with those cream products. Again, you could go without doing the powder ones if you wanted it to be even more natural. And then I'm just going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm just using this to bronze up the entire face. So again, going in the same places that I had used the darker foundation and just kind of amplifying it. I also blend this down my neck as well, that way there isn't any gradual lines right on my jawline. Then I'm just using the Berry Amore Milani Baked Blush, and this is shade 03, and I'm just putting that on my cheekbones and dusting it back. And then I am using the Makeup Revolution Highlighter as well, and this is in the golden shade. And I'm just placing this right on my cheekbones. Oh, meet my little baby cakes. Hopefully we'll be able to get them in some more videos. Then I'm also going to highlight down the bridge of my nose, right there on the tips of my eyebrows. And I will also do this on my cupid's bow and my inner corners and use the same highlight as my brow bone highlight. Then I'm just setting my entire face with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. And that is the completed look.
So here is the finished look. I really like the way it turned out. I used some classic products. It was just kind of a simple go-to look. Um, I'm gonna call this the quick mom look for us new mommy puppies, puppy mommies. So here is little baby Kaya. She's sleepy right now. She's the cutest little thing. And it's her third day at our home. And if you want to see more of this cute little face, remember to like this video and subscribe. Leave some comments below for other videos you guys would like to see. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Jules needs to get a life. She has no see life. See you. Hey. Oh. Here. All right, Jules is gonna make a video, so. I'm gonna carry Mika. Go and pick her up. Mika, sit. Say hi. Are you so sleepy? So sleepy.